टेन सेकेंड्स फाइव सेकेंड्स द डिबेट ऑन दिस न्यू कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन अमेंडमेंट बिल और दीज प्रोविजन्स इन दिस बिल विच इज अंडर कंसिड्रेशन इज नाउ गोइंग ऑन बट सम स्टार्टेड ऑब्जेक्टिंग डैट देयर आर सर्टेन बेसिक चेंजेस इन द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन दे हैव स्टार्टेड ऑब्जेक्टिंग टू द पासिंग ऑफ दिस कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन अमेंडमेंट बिल क्वेश्चनिंग वेदर दिस हाउस हैज गॉट इट्स मैंडेट लेट एस डिस्कस इट ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ दीज पॉइंट्स विच हैव बीन रेस्ड बाई सम ऑनरेबल फ्रेंड्स माई फ्रेंड्स हैव आपटली सेड डैट दिस हाउस हैज गोट द मैंडेट ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ द प्रोग्राम्स ऑफ द पार्टी गिवेन इन नाइनटीन सेवेंटी वन आई डू नॉट वॉन्ट टू रेफर टू ऑल डैट बट इफ इन ऑर्डर टू अपहोल्ड द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन इन ऑर्डर टू वर्क विद इन द फ्रेमवर्क ऑफ दिस कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन सर्टेन चेंजेस आर मेड इन ऑर्डर टू गिव रिलीफ टू द पुअर सेक्शंस I do not know where is the conflict there in and where is the question of mandate that comes in the mandate is there the moment this house was elected composed of 526 members they have their burden duty to secure for the society justice social economic and political this is envisaged under the bill what are we going to do by this amending process they said erosion of fundamental rights the law minister and other members also explained that any laws passed in the furtherance of the directive principles that is chapter 4 of the constitution should not be challenged on any of the grounds mentioned in articles 14 19 and 31 what are the things that are mentioned in the directive principles the things are betterment of the society welfare of the people and in its totality whatever is possible that is to be done i would like to add one word here so far as these things which were not being done earlier are concerned an attempt has been made to do them and also to see that the society marches forward both in the economic sphere and political sphere and also to transform the society into an egalitarian society certain new clauses have been added for this purpose which is laudable but some persons have found fault with it i do not know what is their argument let us take the question of erosion of the judiciary no powers of the judiciary have been curbed rather the powers of judiciary have been streamlined we have seen out of our experience what actually has been the role of the judiciary in our country one after the other the judiciary tried to interpret the constitution in a manner they wanted to do and even by one judge point of view either in the high court or supreme court they wanted to uphold that their views were supreme and none else though we are in this democratic process and we believe in democracy and adult franchise yet this view of the representatives of the people in this house and 
in the other house are not supreme only the judges views are supreme this is nothing but a new nepotism on the part of the judiciary who deliver judgments as if they are the only kings and rulers in this country and nobody else completely ignoring the will and consent of the people who send their representatives to this house to look after their welfare and well-being therefore the question of erosion of the judiciary does not hold any ground i have gone through one of the articles published in the indian express some time before about fundamental duties particularly they mention and i say that the challenges follow the noble ideals that inspired our national struggle for freedom our national leaders took part in the national struggle and they aptly have said that there are certain fundamental rights and those rights particularly referring to article 14 19 and 31 are somehow or the other being taken in view of the directive principles of the state policy of the constitution i do not know what is their actual view point if their view point is to stick to the law that is the fundamental rights are fundamental rights then those fundamental rights are for whom those fundamental rights are for the so called higher strata of the society for the so called haves and not for have nots what is their grievance the poorer sections of the society the vast multitudes of the country do not consider that fundamental rights are embedded in the constitution they consider what their fundamental needs are their fundamental needs is that their hunger should be removed and their economic conditions redressed in view of these things which one is to be given more weightage the poorer sections who are demanding better transformation of the society the problems of the poorer sections are to be given more weightage this position in brief seemed to have shocked many people with this view these articles or constitutional changes which are under consideration are welcome measures and ought to be framed there is no doubt about it